praise the Lord. Amen.
say amen. amen. God is great. He's greatly to be praised. Amen. I have to stop now and apologize to God and the Holy Spirit for rushing. Amen. I don't, I don't have anywhere I need to be. I'm trying to hurry up and get out of here. And there was a time when I was trying to hurry up and get in here. Are uh, y'all all right? So if you don't mind, I'm going to slow down, slow my road, and do what God called me to do. Amen. Amen. We, we give honor to God, who is head of our life, and Jesus Christ, our Savior, and the Holy Spirit, our keeper. Uh, gosh, what a beautiful day in the creek. Amen. Amen. God has a way of making us appreciate some things we take for granted. Amen. Amen. Just to be able to come together and praise God yeah. is a gift within Amen. itself. Amen. 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 So we thank you. Lord, we come now as humble as we know how to come. We come uh, afraid and scared as we've ever been, realizing that we have no preaching power. But you, you have all power. And Lord, we, we rest in not our power, not our ability, but we rest on your promise that you said you would never leave me nor forsake me. You said that whatever I called on you in Jesus' name, you would grant. Lord, as long as I didn't doubt, I'm asking you to remove all doubts and, and be the preacher right now. Forgive me of my sins and create me a clean heart and use me. Be my mouthpiece and be my heart and mind and soul. Use this body to speak a word to us. Keep us, Lord, a, a word, Lord God, that will, will find us where we are, a word that will feed us what we need, a word that will fix us while we're broken, a word that will free us and fill us and fuel us to run on just a little while longer. If you do that, we will be careful. I'll give you all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, we ask, expect, and receive. Amen. Amen. To our elders and deacons and mothers and all of you out there, it's just good to be here. Musicians, it's just good to be here. It's good to be in God's house. Yes, I know that. I might not get back. So since I'm here this time, I'm going to give him everything I got. Are y'all going to help me? Hey, Amen. I, I want to just jump on into this thing and get it over with, but uh, he's telling me that I got to do one more thing before I can do that for him. Amen. If y'all don't mind, you stand on your feet, stay where you are, don't hug, don't touch, don't do anything, just sing for God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Redemption at Christ's expense. Grace, 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 grace. Amen, amen. Matthew 1 and 18. Are you there? Amen. amen. If y'all help me, I'm going to read more longer than I preach if y'all help me. Amen. It says, now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise when uh, as as, as his mother Mary was his spouse to Joseph before they came together, she found, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately or privately. Uh, but while he thought on these things, while he thought on these things, as he was pondering these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. This is the Christmas story here. Uh, this is what Christmas was all about. So the first Christmas, Jesus was the gift. A amen, amen, amen. For, for he shall save his people from he, he shall save his people from there, he shall save his people, not from his, but from our sin. Don't tell me that's not the greatest Christmas gift you could ever get. Uh, now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord, by the prophet saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not until she brought forth her firstborn son, and she called his name Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. To call his name Jesus. I want to I want to preach for a little while from the subject, the deity of Jesus. The deity of Jesus. The, the D E I T Y of J E S U S. The deity of Jesus. There, there was an old hymn that asked the question. It, it said, Who is he in yonder stall? At whose feet the shepherds fall? That question um, and its answer is most critical. If we answer it incorrectly, uh, we miss our Messiah. We, 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 we can be mistaken uh, about many things and still get to heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can mistake on what day we should worship and still get to heaven. We, we, can, we can mistake on certain church type things and still get to heaven. But you can't mistake who the baby in the manger is and get to heaven. Deity. Deity 
in the Bible, in God's sense, is the divine nature of God. So, so I want to preach about the divine nature of Jesus. The divine nature. It, 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 it's what makes him supreme. It, what, it, it's what makes him all human, but yet all God. It, it's what makes him the best man to ever live, and it's what makes him the greatest God to ever live. It's his deity. It's his nature. His nature is loving. He loves us because that's his nature. He cares for us because that's his nature. We, we come to church because that's our nature. We, we praise him because that should be our nature. How do I know I'm saved? Because of my nature. Because I love the brother. My first point is, is the virgin birth reveals Jesus' deity. The virgin birth reveals his deity. Verse 18, we read about it. Matthew states that Joseph and Mary were betrothed. Uh -huh. They were engaged. Uh -huh. um, in ancient Israel culture, parents arranged the marriages for their children. When the engaged children reached their mid-teens, they entered into a betrothal period. Right, yeah, y'all yeah, didn't get that. Right, uh, they became, they, they picked them out before they were 12. They became engaged at 13. And after the engagement was what they called a betrothal period. And they were in this period where they were going to be betrothed. And in this period, uh, Mary became pregnant. Look out, look out. Something happened. All right. In this period, and, and 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 you know what a trough is? It, it, guys, do I have any farm folks in here? You, you, you feed the cattle out the trough. It's, it's what you pour the water in. It's, Gosh, even though the trough may be made of wood, it may be nasty on the outside. It's what goes on the inside that make the trough a trough. Amen. It's the water and the food that keep the animals living on the trough, in the trough, that keeps them going. It's what's in the trough that... Jesus' manger was an example of a trough. And, and, and we get so wrapped up into the hay and, and what the trough was made out of till we forget that it's what's in the trough that matters. If, if, if we partake what's in the trough, we will have life and have it more abundantly. Are y'all going to help me get out of here? So, 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 so it's in the trough. We think of trough as trouble. That's all right. It, it was in the troubled time before the marriage that she became impregnated by the Holy Spirit. It, it, if y'all would just deal with me and my father for a little bit. It was in the troughs of life that he impregnated me. Are y'all all right? He, 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 I know that I was called to be a preacher before I was born, but it was in the troubled times of life where he made me realize that it was not what was on the outside of me. What was on the outside could not hinder what he put on the inside. I need to talk to some saved folk. Aren't we a mess? Isn't it hard? Don't we keep getting headaches? Because that thing that, that, that has been impregnated in us is trying to birth and come out of us. But that thing on the outside of us keeps trying to hold down the baby from ever being birthed. Come here, come here, Paul. I got a brother, Paul, that would agree with me. Paul said, that that I would do, that, that that's on the inside of me, I don't do it because that that is on the outside of me, keep it bottled in. Hey, y'all all right? I, I, I tell you, I'm so messed up until I spend an hour and a half getting the outside ready for church until I realized that it took me all week to get the inside. This here thing, you, that, that Mary, she ends up pregnant in the betrothal, and, and there's only two options. Either Mary was a virgin, or she wasn't. Can, can we just deal with the reality of it? Either she was a virgin, or she was not a virgin. Gosh. If we assume that she uh, was not a virgin, then there's two more options. Either she had relations with Joseph, or some other man. And y'all want to deal with the story? Y'all want to talk about Santa Claus. I want to talk about Christmas. But, but, but as I read about 
about Mary, nothing that we know about Mary indicates uh, that she would be unfaithful to Joseph. Matter of fact, everything about her tells me that she was a faithful type woman. That's right, that's right. The angels and God chose her. She didn't choose God. God chose her. And when God chooses you, he knows that you're special. Don't let anybody else tell you. You don't believe that, do you? He chose my brother Job one day. He, 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 God, uh, God, Jesus had called a meeting and everybody came around. And here comes proud, big head Satan. Yes, sir. He had to be. It, there was some, some saved folk that missed the meeting, but Satan didn't. Let me tell you something. The doors of churches might be closed, but Satan still showed up every Sunday. I wish y'all had helped me. He showed up, and, and God said, he said, he said, I've been to and fro. I've been doing, he said, yeah, but have you considered my, my, my will make me run back to New York. I'm glad to be your friend. I'm glad to be your brother. You are my brother. Believe our mouths are good, but God's mouths are great. Yeah, yeah. You, you can tell folk I'm your brother. You can tell folk I'm your friend. But when God sent my servant, he showed me and the whole world that I belong. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. There, there was nothing that we know of that that, that, that shows that Joseph would not, uh, that he would disclaim the responsibility if it was his child. Joseph was a just man. And, and, and if, and, and since Mary had not been with a man, and th then, then she was in fact a virgin. Y'all gonna help me? How is this possible? I'll ask the hard questions that you don't want to ask. I know, I know that this was a hard question because if you cheat and turn over to Luke, I believe 1 and 34, Luke said that Mary asked the angels the same question. She says, how can this be? Seeing that I have been... What you mean I'm pregnant and I ain't been with a man? She asked the angel this question, and over in Luke's gospel, Luke said that the angel said to her, the Holy Ghost, you, you ain't pregnant yet, but the Holy Ghost is coming, and, and he shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow. Ah, somebody need to be running right now. I need him to overshadow me, because if he overshadows me, he covers all of me. I, I think John Legend sings a song, all of me won't all of you. Let me tell you something. The only all I want is God and I want to give him all of me and I want to have all of Y'all all right. Uh, he, he went on to say and therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the son of God. Son of God in the Hebrew uh, idiom means that uh, possessing the nature of God, deity. It was his deity. Without his deity, there was be no explanation for the virgin conception and the virgin birth. Amen. Her womb put out something that was implanted in her supernaturally. What have you given birth to? Are y'all all right? I want to move on. I want to look at his deity. The angels, the next day, their words announced Jesus' deity. We read what the angel said on learning of Mary's pregnancy. Joseph was crushed. The boy was hurt. But an angel appeared to him saying that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. You, you read verse number 20. It, it literally is translated, it is out of the Holy Spirit. In other words, it was implying that the source and the substance of what impregnated her was uh, uh, the essence of God himself. Uh -huh. All right. My goodness, Edie. I've been full of a lot of stuff in my life. Uh, right. Some of it, I, I can't say the word. Baby, ain't no word. <laughs> I ain't gonna say it. But there had been a time when I was full of it. <laughs> Amen. There was a time when I was full of uh, 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 joy juice. All right. All right. All right. All right. There was a time when I was full of myself. I want to talk to somebody. But yeah, I met a man one day. 
And I, I wanted to follow him. And he said that if I wanted to follow him, the first thing I must do is empty out. Gosh, myself. I, I must first deny myself. I, I, I got enough junk coming with the cross. So I, I can't have personal junk and the crosses crises with it too. He said, so I must deny myself. I, I must rid myself of the joy juice. I must rid myself of my mess. I must empty out so he can empty in. Uh, you see, so this this thing, this this thing that the the, 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 the angels were announcing, they were saying that uh, this is God himself. He, he went on to say, and, and, and not only that, let me tell you how you're going to know that God is his father. It is customary in those times that the man named the child. We got out of that custom, and, and when we got out of that custom, you women start naming kids any and everything. Start naming them after drinks, Alize and Ibaka and all this other stuff we can't pronounce. But men be short and simple. Back then, when we were naming them, you had Steve, Mike, John, Paul. Are y'all all right? Now y'all got four and five syllables. Now it take a kid to the third grade to know how to spell and pronounce his own name. I better get out of here now. I better get out of here now. But boy, boy, first grade, they calling your name. You don't even say you here because you don't even know your name. Y'all all right? Name so messed up until grandmama have to give you a nickname and you think you your nickname is your first name. You try to get pepper work and flip on it and, and flip it on it because you don't know what Karen or Karen has even pronounced. Are y'all all right? Get that Q from that Q messed me up. Still messed me up to the day, so I just put Q dot O'Brien. Y'all all right? I wish y'all help me. I gotta get on here now. Yeah. Uh, she said, Thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. The name Jesus means God saves. Jesus' name and his mission revealed his deity. In algebra class, the first formula we learned was simple. But all the rest of the formulas hinged on the symbol. It went something like this. The formula read that A equals B. And B equals C. And if A equals B and B equals C, then A also must equal C. Did y'all follow me? C can be no greater than A because A and B are equal. And B and C are equal. So the common denominator is B. All right, all right. So y'all one in the same. Uh, let me fix the algebra in the scripture. First John 4 and 14 tells us, And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. He's the Savior of the world. Well, let's get to the formula. If Jesus is the Savior, and the only true Savior is God, therefore then Jesus must be God. Did y'all follow me? If Jesus is the Savior, and only God is the true Savior, A and C must be the same. Then Jesus must be God. I'm getting ready to close. Why must Jesus be God to save us? You see, sin created a penalty. A fair, but a terrible wage. It's fair, it's fair, it's fair, it's fair. Because he said, you don't have to mess up. But if you mess up, death is coming. For the wage of sin is death. The penalty for sin is eternal. If our Savior was just a mere man, how long would he be paying the penalty? He would be paying the penalty forever. He would still be hanging on the cross. He would have to hang up there forever. Uh, we'd never be saved because the penalty would never be paid. So if we're to be saved, uh, we have to have a Savior who can pay an eternal 
penalty without taking an eternity to do it. I'm getting ready to close there. Y'all didn't get that, did you? In order for us to be saved, we, we, we have an eternal penalty, but we need someone that can pay an eternal penalty and not take an eternity to do it. Only God himself can do that. My third point is they got to talking about the prophet. Isaiah predicts Jesus' deity. Verses 22 to 23, uh, Matthew refers back to Isaiah 7 and 14. Well, Mary, what was happening in Isaiah 7 and 14? Uh, Israel and Judah had fallen out with each other. And Judah had a king named Ahaz. If you want me to get real technical, you want to know who Ahaz was? He was King Uzziah's grandson. He had a daddy named Jotam. Jotam was Ahaz's daddy, and Jotam was King Uzziah's son. Are y'all going to help me? You remember what Isaiah said about Uzziah. Uzziah was the grandfather of Ahaz. And, and, and you remember Isaiah was sad. He said, in the year that King Uzziah had died. He said, because uh, I had to die for me to see the Lord. I want to ask you something during this Christmas season. What is it that God has to remove from your life that you can see him more clearly? Y'all going to help me close here now. In the year that King Uzziah had died. Isaiah said, I too. Are y'all all right? In other words, uh, Mother Eula, somebody else had already saw him. But he said, I too. I saw the Lord. He was high and lifted up. I wonder this morning, is he higher than your Christmas tree? Are y'all going to help me? Uh, I know somebody has a nice angel on the top of the tree. But the God I serve, uh, he tells uh, the angels what to do and when to do it. Are y'all going to help me? The God I serve, uh, religion is under his feet. Uh, you, you, you don't believe that uh, you can't have him with just religion. If you want to have him, uh, you got to take off religion uh, and put on relationship. I got to get out of here. Uh, 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 but, 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 but Israel and, and Judah had gotten into it and, and King Ahaz was over Judah. Israel had gotten with Syria, the enemy, and they were going to take over Judah. I wish I had some Bible readers. The Bible says that King Ahaz, King Ahaz had gotten a little worried. And, and God came to Isaiah. He said, I want you to go talk to King Ahaz. He said, uh, uh, Isaiah said, I, I don't know where he is. Uh, he's in hiding. I wish y'all would help me. Uh, God said, yeah, he can hide from you. And he can hide from everybody else. But he can't hide from the long eyes of the Lord. In the Lord, all right. He said, I see him down. Where is he? He's down past where you wash the pots and the pans. He's hit. The king has hit himself in the room where you wash the tiles. I wish y'all would help me. In the Lord, all right. He said, go tell Ahaz that uh, just ask me for a sign. And I will show him that I'm going to deliver him. Ask me for any sign you want to. Don't worry about how hard it is. Just ask me for a sign. I wonder how many out there has been in such a rut until you ask the Lord, Lord, you said that I'm yours and you're mine. Just give me some kind of sign that you're still my God and I'm still your child. I wish y'all would help me. Uh, uh, and when Isaiah told Ahaz, Ahaz said, no, I won't do such a thing. I will not test God like that. Isaiah got a little upset. He said, you won't even do what God asked you to do. He said, well, since you won't ask for a sign, God is going to give you a sign. What is that sign? He told Ahaz, he said, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. 
Behold, a virgin shall conceive. I wish I had some Bible readers. And bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. Emmanuel means that God is with us. In the Lord, all right, he told Ahab, every time you get scared, I just want you to look on the boy and realize it don't matter what ditch you're in. It don't matter what rut you're in. It don't matter what the doctor said. It don't matter who you lose along the way. It don't matter when your children act up. It don't matter how many headaches and migraines you get. Every time you look on the child, just remember I'm with you through every heartache. I'm with you through every heartbreak. When you go to the funeral home, I'm with you. When you go to the gravesite, I'm with you. On your way to the doctor, I'm going to ride with you. When you get out and walk in, I know they say you can't bring nobody in with you uh, without a mask. Uh, and you can't have nobody, but they can't stop me. Uh, everywhere you go, I'm going to go. Everywhere you place your foot, I'm going to put my foot. Uh, you don't believe me. Uh, I heard David say, uh, the Lord is my shepherd. In other words, he leads me uh, everywhere I go. In God, all right, he told Ahaz, uh, when you get worried in the midnight hour, just turn over Ahaz and look at Emmanuel, because God is with us. I want to talk to somebody this morning uh, that's worried about Christmas, uh, that's worried about COVID. Uh, stop looking at Christmas. Uh, stop looking at COVID. Turn your head to God. Can you see Emmanuel? God is with with us. The Lord is with us. He said, relax and just look at the boy. Every time you get worried, this is the sign that God gave Ahaz. And now Matthew's explaining that the fulfillment of Isaiah 7 and 14 is standing right before us. In God, all right, John introduced him as the lamb that comes to take away the sins of the world. But Matthew introduced him as Emmanuel. God is with us. In the Lord, all right. But they were both saying the same thing. What John was saying was his first name. Yonder here come the lamb. Matthew says his middle name is. He ain't coming to run away from us. He ain't coming to run by us. He ain't coming to run over us. He ain't coming for us to walk on him. Why is he coming, Matthew? He's coming to dine at your table. He's coming to lay in your bed. He's coming to walk in your shoes. He's coming to fix your sin. Situation. He's coming not to be beside you. He's coming not to be behind you. He's coming to be with you. And the only way he can be with you, he's got to be in you. In God, all right. I don't know about y'all. I'm glad that he's with me. At least sometimes I take him places that I'm ashamed. But God is so good. He's still with me. Me, uh, sometime he, uh, he take me through the front door, uh, right out the back door. Uh, in God, all right, uh, he's jumped fences with me, uh, he's jumped out of windows with me. Uh, one Saturday night, uh, he jumped me uh, from my bedroom uh, to the down uh, at the altar. Uh, and then one Friday evening, uh, he jumped me uh, from the altar uh, to the pulpit. Uh, and he, I got news for you. Uh, one of these old days uh, when uh, the capstone uh, gonna be laid uh, in Zion uh, and the building uh, is gonna be finished. Uh, I got one more, uh, not mountain to climb. Uh, I got one more leap, uh, one more jump. Uh, I'm gonna have to do. Uh, he's gonna jump me uh, from the pulpit uh, to heaven. Uh, heaven's gonna be my home. Uh, in God, all right. Uh, I got to get out of here now. My last and final point is uh, Joseph faithfulness uh, embraces Jesus' deity. Well, uh, why do you say that, Where? Uh, can you imagine Joseph uh, heartbroken, uh, crushed uh, in God, all right? Uh, come here, Paul. Uh, we're crushed uh, all the day long. Uh, but even though we're crushed, uh, we're not destroyed. Uh, even though we're put down, uh, we're not cast away. Uh, in God, all right? Uh, I need to talk.
talk to somebody that has been put down, but not cast away. I was put down in the rejects of the rejects. But one day, the old lamb by stopped by the reject section and reached out his hand and said, Whosoever will, let him come to me. All you got to do is hold to my unchanging hand. In God, all right, I saw those angels go to Joseph and tell Joseph, do not fear this thing in Mary. I ordained it. It was predestined. You, I just blessed to be a part of the process. Can I close here now? I'm happy. Why you happy, weary? I know you had a rough year. I know that COVID had an effect. I know that sickness stopped by your house. Perhaps you're like me. You even had to face death a time or two. But I'm so glad that I am a part of this program. In God, all right. He saved me to tell a whole wide world. Show enough, get out of here now. I, I heard Joseph say, I, I don't understand it, but I'm going to obey. In God, all right. I told y'all that Jesus, he is dear to you. It's his nature. And let me tell you about his nature. We serve a God that destiny cannot decree him. In God, all right. We serve a God that all things made was made by him. I wish y'all would help me. We serve a God that everything exists. It existed in him. In God, all right. No power on earth can dethrone him. No army. Can defeat him. I'm just telling you about his deity. Time don't age him. He don't have a birthday. He don't have a death day. Start, stop, and finish are not in his vocabulary. Adjectives cannot describe him. A noun can't tell you who he is. Verbs can't tell you how fast, how quick, how on time. He is, can I tell you about his deity? He's man and God at the same time. He made the world and everybody in it. The gold and the silver, their heels, the cattle. Ah! A thousand hills, their hills, but look at yonder, there's a God, he's all powerful, he's all mighty, he's unmatched, there's a God, he threw Satan so fast, from heaven to lightning flash, there's a God, he's evil, able to lift up, bow down heads, able to call dead, to life, able to to make lame men walk, able to make blind eyes see, he's able to make deaf ears hear, he's able to change a nobody into somebody, to tell everybody about somebody that can save anybody. There's a God, he'll stop by in the midnight hour, burn late oil. There's a God. In the middle of your crisis, and he's all right. But as a man, he was born in poverty. The wise man brought him riches. As a man, he was born as a helpless baby into a world that he created. As a man, he was cradled in somebody else's crib. As a man, he sailed on somebody else's ship. As a man, Ate at somebody else's table as a man. He rode on somebody else's ass as a man. 
man, he had to pass over me and somebody else in the upper room. As a man, he was crucified for somebody else's sin. As a man, he died in somebody else's place. As a man, as a man, they laid him in a borrowed tomb. But what I like about him, he was no man. He was all God and all man. How you know where he is? The only man that could go down to hell and have a revival. Every soul got saved. It got all right, right early Sunday morning. The man and the God got up at the same time. Good God Almighty, I just got happy now. While we're here, I saw the God man hanging out on the cross. I heard the God in the man begin to talk to the man. Is God all right? What did he say? We're here. He said, man, it's time for me to separate myself from you once again. He told the spirit, go back to dad. He told the man, go back to the ground. But don't worry, it was not the first time they had a conversation. I don't know about y'all, but last night I had a long talk with myself. It was just me, myself, and I. But when he was talking, it was God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. I heard him talk to himself one day. He said, destroy this temple. And in three days, good God Almighty, y'all don't hear me. Why is it going to take three days, Jesus? One day is for God. He's my daddy. The next day is for me. I'm the Savior. The third day is for the Holy Spirit. When all three get together, something's bound to happen. Right early, Sunday morning, he got up. I'll take prayer. Keys in his hands. Power in his hand. Keys for the physical man. Unlocked a grave so he could be free. Power for the spiritual man. How you know that we're in? I got to go now. But John told me to everyone that received him. To them he gave power. Power to become the sons of God. Goodbye now. Find it very well. Don't worry about the old man where Worry about the new man where This old man one day gonna lay down to never get up again. One day the old man gonna walk in his room and never come out again. Don't weep over the old man. Rejoice in the new man. If any man be in Christ Jesus, old things have passed away. All things have become new. God bless you. The deity. The deity. The, deity. the nature. The God nature of Jesus. His nature. He's God. He, 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 he's all God again. But, but he was man and God. Yeah. Man shall not live by bread alone. But every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord, that's what it's going to take. The deity of Jesus. This Christmas season is about the deity of the nature of Christ. Don't ponder over what's the perfect gift to give whoever you're giving to. Because the greatest gift has already been given. We get so wrapped up into the commercial and we forget about the Christ. It's his birthday, we say. So why are we celebrating the world when we should be celebrating Christ? Him. God bless you. Help us smile upon you. The doors of the church are open.